Hello guys and welcome back. So in the last section we created a class decorator. In this section we are going to create a property decorator. Okay. So now what we are expecting from this decorator is that it if the property that it decorates should be a read only property. Okay. So to do that let's first create the com or to, uh, let's first create the decorator itself. Now uh, let me just name this read only and this is going to receive a value okay and this is going to return a function and this will have a target and the key that is uh, required to be set okay so in here we'll use the object dot define property method to define a property named this key on the target okay and in here we will use the set to set the key on this target to the value that we receive here at the top okay and then in case of get we are going to simply sorry uh, return the value like so and then we'll just change this from uh, we'll set the configurable flag here to false like so okay now we will be able to use this decorator so in the parent component let's say that i create a field here named read only this is of type string okay and let's decorate this with the read only decorator that we just created in here we'll pass some uh, value so let's type in this is a read only string and will not change okay so now let's first just comment this out in the log on console let's print this dot read only first then let's try to change read only to this was changed and then again let's simply copy this line from here and paste it here like so if i go back then these are the two lines that we printed out 29 and 31 29 that is right here and 31 okay now what we did is we what we are seeing on the screen is this is a read only string and will not change in both the cases right here okay but we did change the value of this read only string to this was changed but still it wasn't changed so it's basically a read only um, property and will not change so this is one of the other use cases wherein you can use a custom decorator as a property decorator to basically uh, make some property read only or configure it with some other requirement okay so this was it regarding the session five of this training now in the next session we will be understanding forms in angular and we'll also create and use the template driven and reactive form strategies in angular so i'll see you guys in the next session bye